Welcome to Minecraft Explains Atoms, Molecules, Elements and Compounds. My name is Andy. Have you ever been told about atoms that make up everything in the entire universe? Solids, liquids and gases. You may have also been told that they're invisible and tiny. Well, how do we know they're there? What's the proof that atoms really exist? Well, we're going to throw caution to the wind and stick Yoda into this little dish of villagers here. We also need this guy, Jan Ingenhaus, who noticed in 1785 little bits of coal dust zipping about random speeds and directions floating on the surface of some alcohol. And this guy, 50 years later, Robert Brown from Scotland, he noticed little dust bits of pollen zipping about at random speeds floating on the surface of water. He was looking down a microscope. Now, what's happening is it's a bit like villagers who are bumping into Yoda. They're making Yoda move at random speeds and random directions and he is zipping about all over the surface of this little experiment. So the villagers are the water particles, Yoda could be the pollen grains and we also need this guy, Einstein, because he came along in 1905, he proved it once and for all. Mathematically, these tiny little forces from these invisible water molecules bumping into, they're smaller than the pollen grains, but they've got high speed and high energy, and they bump into the pollen grains and make them move about at random speeds and random directions. And that is called Brownie in motion after Robert Brown. It's one of the proofs that atoms exist. Okay, still not convinced? Well, something else we can do in science is to fire electron beams at atoms. And electrons are even smaller than atoms. And by looking at and finding out what happens to these electrons, we can kind of figure out what the shape of the atom is by how they get deflected around the atom. So this yellow sphere, I've turned it into barrier blocks. And you can see little Yoda jumping up and down on the barrier blocks, which in Minecraft are invisible. Now, we don't have electrons in Minecraft, but what we do have is 400 baby rabbits and what we're going to do yep there they are there is drop the baby rabbits down onto the barrier block atom and see what happens see if we can work out the shape of this invisible atom wow do they look cute and i'm pretty sure they should be okay if we drop them from this height let's see if we can figure out the shape of this atom from what happens to the baby rabbits okay Oh, turns out they all die from that height. Oh well, it's all in the name of science, never mind. In slow motion, there, you can see in red, because of all the blood of the baby rabbits, the outline of the atom. Fantastic, we love experiments like that. So one more time, with shaders on, this time you see it in great detail. Here come the rabbits, frame by frame. Boom, you can work out the shape of the atom. Love it. And there you can see a real picture taken with an electron tunneling microscope. So that's Brownian motion and tunneling electron microscopes. If you want to look further into proof of atoms, I suggest doing some research into Avogadro's number. Oh, also Yoda looks like he's got one more thing to tell us. Ah, yes, diffusion. Now that is one good proof that there are tiny atoms. And it kind of reminds me of farting, to be honest, because of that gas that spreads throughout the room. You know when someone farts at the back of your classroom? Well, Yoda's going to do the Minecraft equivalent. He's going to jump into this classroom here. Now, the villagers are representing the air molecules, the air atoms that have joined together and are spread throughout the entire room. He's going to make five mushrooms in the corner. The mushrooms represent our fart gas. And as the little villagers bump into the mushrooms, they push them throughout the whole room. They have some energy, they're able to walk themselves, but mostly they get pushed about by the villagers. And over time, these mushrooms will spread out from being five in the corner to being mushrooms spread throughout the entire area. It's a bit like the fart gas getting pushed about your classroom by all the invisible air molecules. By the way, I'll let you into a little secret. It's usually your teacher who walked down to the back of the room, walked back, and while he was there, dropped a big fart and now sits back at his desk or her desk and laughs at everyone trying to blame everyone else on the fart. But thank you very much to these little villagers. They're pushing the mushrooms about and showing us what diffusion is. Same thing happens with perfume or deodorant or any other kind of gas that gets pushed about the room and spread out just like that. Wonderful. Well done, villagers. Okay, so atoms exist, but how many different kinds do you get? Well, scientists have discovered about 118 different kinds of atom by 2016. Some of them are pretty small, some of them are much bigger. Hydrogen's one of the smallest, or is the smallest atom. 
let's think. Uranium, it's a pretty big atom. It's 92 times bigger than hydrogen. There's lots and lots of different kinds. They're all different sizes, and they're actually different colors as well once they start to group together. For example, the carbon in your pencil is black, but gold atoms lumped together in a gold bar, well, they look yellow in color. Now, atoms don't like being on their own. They hardly ever hang out on their own. They like to join with other atoms, and that's called a molecule. Some molecules are only two atoms, three, four, 20. Some are hundreds and thousands of atoms long. So a molecule, that's what it's called when atoms join together and hang out in twos or threes or more. If a molecule is made of different kinds of atoms, we call it a compound. If they're made of the same kind of atom, we call them elements. So here is some yellow spheres. Imagine I'm making the element gold. I can only use gold atoms. So only gold atoms are in gold. Same as silver. Only silver atoms are in silver. Or mercury. Only mercury atoms are in the element mercury. So an element is something which is made of only one kind of atom. So here's a big lump of gold. Yoda's very pleased because he's got a nice gold bar. And in that gold bar, you'll only ever find gold atoms. And gold is pretty rare, so we like it. It's got some really good properties as well. Let's see what else Yoda's got down his sleeve. Yes, Yoda, that's an element. Gold is an element. It's only made of gold atoms. I think he's got some other things in there. So that's gold. What else has he got? I think he's got, yes, he's got iron. Iron is an element because it's only made of iron atoms. And that leaves us with the definition of an element, something that's only made of one kind of atom. So that's elements, only made of one kind of atom. If something's made of two or more different kinds of atom, we call that a compound. For example, hydrogen joining onto oxygen well, that could form water, which is a very different substance from hydrogen and oxygen, which are both gases at normal room temperature and pressure. Now, what you're just doing is laying out something called the periodic table of elements. Each block that he's doing and laying out there represents a different element or a substance made of only one kind of atom. So he's got to put down all 118 different kinds of colored wool there to represent all the different atoms in the universe. Well, the ones that we've discovered so far. There he goes, little pink one down the bottom here, just to finish things off. Now, we could have had a long list on a bit of paper, 1 to 118, but putting them in this arrangement turns out to be pretty useful. But more about that in a second. Let's start to list the lightest one is hydrogen, so we call that number one. The second lightest atom is called helium. So anything just made of helium atoms would be the element helium. So this is why this is a table of elements. The third one is lithium. It's three times as heavy as hydrogen. And here is number four, beryllium. And ones you might have heard of. We're going to list the common ones at the start. Number five, boron. Number six, carbon. Remember, that's the stuff inside your pencil. Number seven here, we've got nitrogen. That's most of the gas in the atmosphere. And number eight, oxygen! Sorry, that's always the element of surprise. Okay, let's let little Yoda label all the elements in the known universe in this big list. The reason we do it in this list with all these rows and columns is you get different groups and rows. And these groups and rows, which are called periods, actually have different properties. So you can see the pink row or a pink column on the left. It's called a group. And that group has very different properties, for example, from the pale blue one on the right. And when you do chemistry, you learn about all these different properties and groups. And it's very useful to put them in this special periodic table. We've got Mendeleev, a Russian scientist, to thank for this amazing arrangement. Very useful indeed. You might recognize some of these other elements as well, like phosphor and sulfur, sorry, phosphorus and sulfur. Some of the elements are named after scientists like um, Einsteinium or Mr. Fermi as well, fermium. Okay, let's finish things off with a little pop quiz. So the little dots of Minecraft will represent the atoms. Is this going to be an element? a compound, a mixture of elements, or a mix of compounds. Feel free to pause the video, otherwise it's five, four, three, two, 
one if you chose compound well done it's two or more different atoms joined together so that's a compound what am i making here little dots represent the atoms is it an element a compound a mix of elements or a mixture of compounds five four three two one well done if you picked an element only one kind of atom has to be an element same question same deal wait until i finish building it what am i going to make got some green atoms some blue atoms hmm got some purple atoms as well what on earth is this a b c or d time starts now four three two one well this is a mix of compounds two or more different atoms joined together but there are different molecules there different compounds okay some big fat green atoms some little white atoms what could this be a b c or d times a ticking two one it's simply a mixture of different elements green elements and white elements that's all